This is the day the Lord has made Father, I'm ready to hear what you tell me Morning by morning, the Lord of the worship Giving you glory all of my days Oh, 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 oh Morning by morning, all of my days At the center of it all It's you that I see it's you that I see oh, At the center of it all oh, It's you that I see It's you that I see oh, There is power in your name Happen in your name. Yeah. And as we lift the voice and praise, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Father, Savior, there is power in your name. Time after time, miracles happen in your name. As we lift the voice in praise, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Yeah. At the center of My king and my maker At the center of the hole It's you that I see It's you that I see yeah. There is power in your name Miracles happen in your as a leap to voice and praise, it's you that I see, it's you that I see, yeah. Oh, and there is power in your name. As I leave the voice in praise, it's you that I see, it's you that I see. You are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, greater than the greatest. You are big. Bigger than the biggest, yeah. You are strong, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, greater than the greatest. As I leave the voice and praise, it's you that we see. It's you that we see. As I lift the voice in praise, it's you that we see, it's you that we see. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. 
For you have captured my heart Consume my heart with your love Time after time And you have captured my heart You have consumed my heart with your love Oh God, if all I say is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. Ooh, if all I say is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. That's more than enough. Oh, if all I say is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. Thank you, Lord, hey, for you have captured my heart you have consumed my heart with your love my lover defender protector hey. and you have captured my heart you have consumed my heart with your love oh if all I say is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. If all I say is Jesus, 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 that's more than enough. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. So, Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you. I'll have proved you more and more. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus. Jesus.
Good morning, and you're welcome to God's presence. You're welcome to MBM. Morning by morning, this Lord's Day, let's lift up our hands and thank Jesus for the privilege of a brand new day. Father, we're thanking you for the privilege of life. We're thanking you for your love and for your honor, for your blessing. And we're asking right now that you send us a now word. Let what needs to be heard, O God, be said in the name of the Lord Jesus. Remove burdens, destroy yokes, transform lives. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. We're in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 1, verse 3, still there. And the Bible says, Now the serpent was more cunning than all the beasts of the field which the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, May we may eat the fruit of the tree of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has not has said, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' mighty name. I want to use for a title this morning, Do Not Add to God's Word. Do not add to God's Word. Thank you, Father, for blessing your word. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a uh, there is something called the sin of exaggeration. The sin of exaggeration. We serve a precise God. We serve an accurate God. We serve a God of detail. Now, in dealing with Genesis chapter 3, one of the problems I saw was not just a problem of Satan, but I saw that it is true that Satan was guilty of the sin of, of temptation, perversion, subversion. But I also noticed that the woman was guilty of the sin of exaggeration. Exaggeration. Now, and if you don't pay attention to detail, you're likely to be guilty of the sin of exaggeration. What was the instruction God gave to them? God said to them, they were not to eat of the tree in the midst of the garden of the knowledge of good and evil. But there was just a slight exaggeration there on the part of the woman. She said, God has said, Let's see what the woman says. The woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it. That was her own addition, her own exaggeration, lest you die. So what we saw the woman, one thing that set her up for a fall, I'm going to build on this later, was she added her own to God's own. She added to God's word. It is very important, ladies and gentlemen, that when we begin to hear God, and when we begin to obey God, we must be the kind of people who hear God in detail. And we must be the kind of people who who quote God in detail without exaggerating what God has said. I saw here that the woman was guilty when she added to it, nor shall you touch it. That was her own exaggeration of divine instruction. And if you exaggerate or approximate divine instructions, you're likely going to get into trouble. Why? In John 2, 5, he says, what he says to you Whatsoever he says to you, do it. And the water was turned into wine. In Hebrews 8, 5, the Bible says, See that you do all things according to the pattern that is shown to you on the mount. We must be very careful in our desire to either please people, impress people, that we don't exaggerate what God has called us to do in the earth she was guilty of the sin of adding to his word now let me tell you something an exaggerated truth is still a lie 
an exaggerated truth is still a lie. Oh, in that meeting, uh, we, the attendance in that meeting was 50,000. I mean, so one day somebody was talking to Pastor Debo, even pastors are guilty of this. Pastors are guilty. And the reason why we're guilty of exaggeration sometimes is because of pride. On one hand, we can be guilty of exaggeration because of pride. We want to, we want to feel bigger than we actually are. And anytime we have an unusual desire to feel bigger than we actually are, it is because we are actually smaller than we are actually than we actually are. Once again, anytime we find ourselves trying to to act bigger than we actually are. It is because we actually are smaller than we are. <laughs> so on one hand, people exaggerate because of pride. On the other hand, people exaggerate because of low self-esteem, a desire to compete, a desire to feel among, a desire to impress, a desire to feel super spiritual. And an exaggerated truth is still a lie. God did not tell them not to touch it, God told them not to eat of it. And her tendency to exaggerate and to add to his words brought about that fall. Hallelujah. Now, at the risk of saying, overflowing this issue, in Proverbs chapter 30, exaggerating God's word is a serious issue. In fact, theologians call this the imprecation, that God has added an imprecation to uh to anyone who exaggerates his word so you're not adding your scripture to the bible in fact there's something called the canon of scripture and the canon of scripture we believe at the enthronement assembly is a closed canon are you there the canon of scripture the word canon basically means rule and so when you study the bible the bible has a number of books and that is not to be added to in terms of scripture. And it's a very grievous sin when we choose to add to it. Well, let me share two scriptures that establishes this. In Proverbs 13 verse 6, it says, Do not add to his word, lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. So these are two things. If you, if you add to what God says, you will become a victim of divine rebuke. And when you add to what God said, it converts the truth of what God said into a lie. God is not going to confirm a lie. So he's saying here, do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you and you be found to be a liar. Whenever you minister to people, and this matters to ministers, to pastors, say what God says. Do what you see God do. Don't be pressured. Don't be pressured to perform. Don't be like Moses when God says, "Speak to the rock." Don't be the one who strikes the rock. I think twice. Let's be very careful about drama. Performing drama, God is not performing. In John chapter five, at the pool of the test that we saw here, Jesus went there and healed one person because that was only what he saw his father do. Jesus did certain things. Jesus was not playing to the gallery. He went there. He saw God healing one. He healed one. Yet the Bible says there were a great multitude of impotent folks in that region. But he healed one. He healed one. He healed one. And left there. Why one? Because that was what he saw the Father do. And so he's saying here, if we are exaggerators of his word, if we add to his word, we're likely to be rebuked and then we'll be found to be liars. And, and this is also important, especially in this age where prophecy is trending. Yeah, uh, prophetic, prophecy, 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 prophecy. Because people like prophecy now. Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. People now start inventing and packaging prophecies that God did not send. Let's be very careful about this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in Revelation 22, verse 18, verse 19, we see how how powerful this is and how grievous adding to his words is. It says, For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book. Speaking about Revelation, it says, If anyone adds to these things, 
if you add to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in the book. In other words, when you add to the word that God has written in God's book, God will add the plagues of the book to you. It's why many pastors who do violence to the word die before their time. Are you there? Many ministers. He says, if you add to his words, if you add to the word of the prophecy of the book, he, this book contains, the Bible contains plagues. And he's saying here, if you violate the canon of God's word, you can become sick. So it's a serious issue. And many have become sick and died because they were adding to the canon of prophecy, canon of God's word, and all that. It's why we must be very careful that we don't stray beyond the borders of the word, that we don't, we don't, we don't remove the boundaries of our fathers. Hallelujah. He says, so God will, add, if anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues you can fall sick for adding to the canon of God's word. And he says, if anyone takes away from the words of the book of the prophecy, God will take away his part from the book of life. So if you add to the word of God, God will add the plagues of the book to you. If you take away from the word of God, God will take away your part from the book of life and your part from the holy city and from the things which are written in the book. This is so powerful. You add to his word, he adds the plagues to you. You take away from the word, he takes away your part in the book of life. He takes away your part in the holy city, the heavenly Jerusalem, and he takes away your part in what is written in the word of God. Therefore, we must deliver God's word accurately without fear of favor. One day I had a friend and I was preaching the word of God and he happened to attend that church. He was guilty of what I was saying and what I was saying now affected him adversely. He now came to me and said, Tunde, you they carry me preach for church, Abi. I reacted violently. I shouted on him. My house was shaking and I was in school. I said, you didn't call me. You can't determine what I preach. The God who called me determines what I preach and I'm unstable to him. Never adjust your message to suit the audience. Deliver what God has called you to deliver. With no matter whose ox is God. The reason is this. There's more to fear than the face of the people. There's more to fear than the acceptance of the people. There's also more to lose than the favor of the people. That's why if you're going to be a preacher of God's gospel, you're going to have to be bold to declare the counsel of God, the total counsel of God. No matter whose ox is God, made up my mind as a preacher of the gospel, whatever God says should be said is what I'm going to say. No matter whose ox is God. And if people leave your church for that reason, that's fine. God will add to them. Hallelujah. I'm saying basically, do not, let's be aware of, of exaggeration. And let's also be aware of adding to his words. And let's be aware of also taking away from his words. Let's, let's be aware of adjusting the word to suit our lifestyle. If we do that, there are going to be major challenges. Let's take the word of God raw, literally. There's a work is going to do in our lives that will change our lives. Hallelujah. So I'm saying this morning, do not add to his words. Let's also embrace the canon of scripture, the 66 canon. And let's not add books. Let's not add to it. Especially, this is so important in this generation. Where people are saying, uh, I, I, I have my own truth, my own truth. There's nothing like your truth. John 17, 17, you know, it says, sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. My truth is not truth. Your truth is not truth. The word is truth. And we are, it's what we are to live up to. I'm saying basically, you know, don't act if you word. Let's go to prayer and spend some time together. And I'll be back to bless you. In Jesus' mighty name.
Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We lift your name high above all else. We say all glory, all honor, all adoration. Ascribe, be ascribed unto you and you alone. Father, we thank you for sending us your word from your throne of grace this morning. We thank you for waking our ears morning by morning to hear your word from your throne of grace. Father, we receive the grace to be doers and not hearers alone of your word in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks and our God, we give all of the praise. Praise in Jesus' mighty name. We are prayer. welcome to prayers this morning. We pray for massive inflow of nations to us uh, as we proceed into the territorial dominion conference. Uh, we pray from the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 37 to 38. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest truly is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. To send out laborers into his harvest. What are we praying for? We are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that the Lord of the harvest will send authentic laborers into our vineyard now and forever in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, we ask, O oh God, as we stand on your world in the book of Matthew chapter 9, verse 37 to 38, uh, that you send uh, authentic laborers uh, into the vineyard of the enthronement assembly in regards to the territorial dominion conference uh, today and forever in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we ask that you Send us authentic laborers, uh, men, oh God, who will drive this vision uh, and bring men from the north, from the south, east, and west of this world uh, for this ministry for this conference in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, because you are raising authentic laborers at the enthronement assembly in the name of Jesus. Truly, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. There we ask, O oh God, that the Lord of the harvest send forth laborers, authentic laborers into the vineyard, men who are men seekers, fishers of men in the name of Jesus, men who are not weary in well-doing, men who will go to the ends of the world and bring the souls of the unsaved of the unchurched to salvation to you in the name of Jesus Eliza fala candia barosa valia shidara barosa italige de barosa viandia katala gadagarabala law we ask o oh god that you send authentic laborers into the vineyard of the enthronement assembly as we march forward towards this conference we begin to experience massive inflow of nations to us uh, as a result of the harvest uh, that you are bringing to us in the name of Jesus. Uh, and so, Lord, as these people come to us at the enthronement assembly, we ask, O oh God, that you raise for us authentic laborers, uh, men and women, O oh God, uh, whose hearts are after you, that we help us in assimilating these members uh, into your work, into your vineyard, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, and our God, we give all of the praise. Uh, we thank you, Lord, because uh, you are sending us, oh God, at the enthronement assembly, oh God, for this conference and beyond. Authentic laborers, men and women uh, who are sold out for your work and for your work alone in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks and our God, we give all of the praise. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are praying from the book of Matthew 13, verse 39. It says, the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are the angel. What are we praying for this morning? Please say with me. Say, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the ministry of reaper angels will perpetually be our portion at the enthronement assembly, now and forever, in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask, O oh God, uh, that the re ministry of Reaper Angels uh, will perpetually be our portion of the enthronement assembly in the name of Jesus. Uh, we begin to enjoy uh, the ministry of the Reaper Angels uh, over the Territorial Dominion Conference uh, today and beyond uh, the enthronement assembly in the name of Jesus. Uh, angels go to the north, to the south, to the east and west. Uh, go around the world. Uh, 
begin to bring men and women from the four corners of this world, uh, from every language, from every tribe, from every nation, uh, to the enthronement assembly now in the name of Jesus. Uh, as a church, we enjoy uh, the ministry of the reaper angels in our midst in the name of Jesus. Uh, we enjoy the ministry of the reaper angels in our midst in the name of Jesus. We enjoy the ministry of the reaper angels in our midst in the name of Jesus. Uh, they go to the south, to the west, to the north and south. Uh, the wind of the Lord goes out and bring men uh, as that sound like that of the seashore to us. Oh God, as uh, we are going to this conference uh, in the name of Jesus, we begin to see massive inflow of nations, uh, of tribes, uh, of men uh, and women, uh, of nations, uh, of languages uh, in our midst in the name of Jesus uh, because we enjoy the ministry of Reaper Angels. Uh, it is forever of a portion of the enthronement assembly. It is forever a portion of the enthronement assembly. It is forever a portion of the enthronement assembly in the name of Jesus. Manina Marocatia Gadara Sadara Eleva Rosa Valiantalia Barosavia Kindara Dada Lord over this conference uh, and beyond the conference uh, we enjoy the ministry of the Reaper Angels. Uh, it is especially our portion at uh, uh, the enthronement assembly in the name of Jesus. Uh, it is especially our portion Ah, the enthronement assembly in the name of Jesus. Uh, angels of God, we ask, oh God, uh, that you go beyond the nations. Uh, bring men, bring women, uh, bring nations, bring tribes uh, to us from every language and every tribe uh, to the enthronement assembly in the name of Jesus. Uh, over this conference and beyond uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, our Father, we thank you and our God, we give all of the praise uh, because of uh, the enthronement assembly nation. Uh, we enjoy the ministry of the Reaper Angels uh, today and beyond and like never before. In the name of Jesus as a result, uh, we begin to experience thousands and thousands, tens of thousands uh, of inflow of nations to us uh, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and our God, we give all of the praise for in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. We are taking the next round from the book of Songs of Songs, chapter 4, verse 16. It says, The Shulamite awake, O north wind, and come, O south, blow upon the entrainment assembly, that his spices may flow out. He said, Let my beloved come to this garden and eat his pleasant fruit, the beloved. What are we praying for? We are saying, Father, we command the wind of the Lord to blow perpetually upon the ministry of the enthronement assembly that our spices will flow out to our generation for our beloved to begin to rush into our church in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we command the wind of the Lord to go to the north, to go to the south, to go to the east, to go to the west, to blow perpetually upon the enthronement assembly, to blow perpetually upon the territorial dominion conference. In the name of Jesus, let our spices flow out to the ends of the world. Let it flow out to nations. Let it flow to nations. Let it flow to the ends of the world. That men and women, nations, continent uh, we begin to rush uh, into the enthronement assembly like never before in the name of Jesus uh, may Zavrania Kanama Talabadia Barosa Valia Tiagada Ele Barosa Valia Tinaga Baradadada Ele Barosa Valia Baradadada Ele Barosa Vana Manakatia Gadada we command the wind of the Lord to blow blow upon the garden of the enthronement assembly and over this conference in the name of Jesus uh, the men, women, nations and tribes uh, from different ends of the world uh, we begin to rush uh, into our 
assembly like never before in the name of Jesus. Uh, they begin to bring men and women uh, into this gathering like never before in the name of Jesus. Uh, over this conference, uh, over the enthronement assembly and of all of our branches, uh, men from all parts of the world, uh, men from the four corners of the earth, uh, rushing to because of the wind of the Lord that has gone out uh, and has blown our spices to the end of the world. Uh, angels of God begin to get into action. Uh, angels of God go into work uh, and let the wind of the Lord bring forth men and women from the ends of the earth in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and our God, we give all of the praise. We thank you, Lord, because this is our confidence in you oh God and we know truly and for sure that as your wind has gone ahead of us uh, men and women nations and tribes and tongues uh, begin to gather and rush uh, into our assembly and over this conference uh, now and beyond in the name of Jesus Father we thank you and our God to give all of the praise uh, in Jesus mighty name we are afraid uh, hope you are taking this prayer seriously we are praying for the book of Psalms 144 verse 7 to 15. He says, Send thy hand from above. Read me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaks vanity and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God. Upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto you. It is he that gives salvation unto kings who delivers David his sour from the awful sword. He said, Read me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaks vanity and their right hand is their hand of falsehood that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth that our daughters may be as corner stones polished after the similitude of a palace that our gunners may be full affording all manner of stuff that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be strong to labor, that there may be no breaking in or going out, that there be no complaining in our street. He say, happy is that people that is in the in such a case, yea. Happy is that people whose God is the Lord. What are we praying for? We are saying, Father, we pray that you will read us of the presence of strange children at the enthronement assembly in the name of Jesus. Children whose mouth speaks vanity. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, upon your word in the book of Psalms 144, verse 7 to 15. Lord, we ask, O oh God, upon the enthronement assembly over every day, Lord, read us of every strange children. Read us of the presence of strange children. Ah, the enthronement assembly in the name of Jesus. Read us of men and women whose mouth speaks vanity against the success of this conference, against the progression of this ministry. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that you read us of them. Take them out, O oh God, out of their sure place in the name of Jesus. Jesus, uh, read them off all oh, that is due to them uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we ask, oh God, that you read us off every strange children uh, whose mouth speaks vanity and their right hand for food uh, and the enthronement assembly, oh God, uh, for everyone that speaks against the upcoming conference, uh, uh, the Retired Dominion Conference. Uh, Lord, read us off them in the name of Jesus uh, and take them away from their shop, oh so God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in Natala Gadabara Zavala Tiada, Elemaru Parandia Gadala Shudabara Ziada, Enemaru Talagadabara Dia Bereza Vala Dia Barado, in Nanamala Gadabala Gadada, take them out in the name of Jesus, uh, read us of them in totality in the name of Jesus, uh, let not one of them be left, uh, read us of every one of them uh, that stands as Elemas uh, against the success of this conversation. Friends, uh, against the success of God uh, of the growth of the enthronement assembly today and forever in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and our God, we give all of the praise. We thank you, Lord, because you are reading us off the presence of strange children whose mouth speaks 
evil and their right hand is falsehood and the enthronement assembly today and beyond in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks and our God we give all of the praise for in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. We are praying from the book of Luke chapter 13 verse 29. He said that we come from the east and the west. That we come from the north and the south. And that we sit down in the kingdom of God. And that we sit down at the enthronement assembly. And we pray this morning. Please say, Father, we pray that the ministry of the four corner gathering of people will be fulfilled perpetually in every service uh, over the territorial dominion conference uh, and the branches uh, of the enthronement assembly for life uh, in the name of Jesus prayers in the name of Jesus father in the name of Jesus uh, Lord upon your word declare in the book of Luke 13 verse 29 uh, we ask oh God uh, for all the ministry of the four corner gathering of nations uh, for all the ministry of the four corner gathering of people into our services in the name of Jesus, uh, into the territorial dominion conference in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because uh, they come from the north, uh, they come from the south, uh, they come from the east uh, and the west in the name of Jesus. Uh, no soul will be left on thunder, uh, no stone will be left on thunder, uh, Lord. We ask, oh God, uh, at the ministry of the four corner a gathering of people will be experienced, uh, will be fulfilled uh, at the enthronement assembly today and forever in the name of Jesus. Uh, it will be fulfilled over the territorial dominion conference uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, now we flow in uh, from the four corners of the world uh, in the name of Jesus uh, and your blessings oh God uh, will elude and not elude anyone who comes in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and our God, we give all of the praise. We thank you, Lord, because uh, the ministry of the four corner gathering of people, the ministry of the four corner gathering of nations, uh, over the entrument assembly, over our branches, uh, over the nations to come to us. Uh, oh, for this conference, oh God, uh, we be perpetually our portion uh, today and beyond in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and our God, we give all of praise uh, because in our midst, you are wrath and miracles. Uh, we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are praying from the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 10 to 11. It says, On that day, Jesus' roots will be raised high, posted as a rallying banner for all the people. The nations will all come to him. His headquarters will be glorious. Are you saying amen? It says, Also, on that day, the master for the second time will reach out to bring people who was left of his scattered people. He will bring them back from Assyria, he will bring them back from Egypt. He will bring them back from Patros, uh, Ethiopia, Elam, Sina, Amat, and the Ocean Islander. What are we praying for? We are saying, Father, we pray that the headquarters of the Enthronement Assembly and all of our branches shall be glorious uh, and they shall forever be a rally center for the people of God on earth in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, we stand on your declaration in the book of Isaiah 11, verse 10 to 11, uh, that the Enthronement Assembly will will forever be glorious. Uh, it will forever be a rally center for all the people of God in the name of Jesus. Uh, our gates are open all day and all night. Uh, they are not shut in the name of Jesus. Uh, men comes from the ends of the world. Uh, nation comes to the ends of the world uh, and they gather at the feet of the instrument assembly over this conference oh God. Uh, let men grab the sleep of another uh, and say we will follow you to the God of the enthronement assembly. Let this, oh God, be our portion in the name of Jesus. Uh, let all of our branches, oh God, experience the same measure of greatness and glory in the name of Jesus. Uh, our gates are forever open. Uh, they are not short day or night. Uh, men come from every language. Uh, they come from every tribe. Uh, our city is called Beulah and Ebziba. Our land is glorious. Uh, we are a city set on a hill. We are the light of the world to see. As men rally around us for the light. That also they may see light in the light that we see. In the name of Jesus. 
Father, we thank you, man, our God, we give all our praise. We thank you, Lord, because you are making the enthronement assembly and every of our branches uh, glorious. Uh, and you are causing us, O oh God, to forever be a rallying center for the people of God uh, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, when our God, we give all of the praise. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We are praying from the book of Zechariah chapter 2, verse 4 to 5. It says, Who said to him, Run, speak to this young man, say, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls, because of the multitude of men and livestock in it. He said, For I, says the Lord, will be a wall of fire all around her, and I will be the glory in our midst. What are we praying for? We are saying, Father, we pray that the enthronement assembly and all our branches shall become a city without walls because of the men, the automobiles, and financial resources that we command in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, upon the fulfillment of your word in the book of Zechariah chapter 2, verse 4 to 5, let the same, O oh God, be our portion and the enthronement assembly assembly oh god and as we prepare oh god uh, for this conference tomorrow let the same measure of grace rest oh god uh, in the name of jesus uh, our wall uh, we are a ministry without we are a ministry oh god without walls uh, because of the men that we come uh, because of the multitude of men that we come uh, because of the automobiles we command uh, and the financial resources oh god that we be deposited uh, in our gatherings in the name of Jesus, uh, we command all these to come in the name of Jesus uh, in 30, 60, and 100 folds in the name of Jesus. Uh, let this be our reality in the name of Jesus. Uh, let the grace of God uh, that rest upon uh, the blessing of Abraham, uh, let it rest upon us. Uh, let it be a perpetual experience in the name of Jesus. Uh, you say, oh God, for all of our branches and uh, uh, the enthronement assembly, oh God, uh, and nations, oh God, uh, that we come out of of this grace uh, shall be a city without walls uh, because of the men that you're sending to us uh, the thousands of men uh, the ten thousands of men uh, and the ten ten thousands of men uh, is our reality the enthronement assembly because of the men uh, the automobiles uh, and financial resources we command in the name of Jesus Father, we thank you when our God will give all of the praise. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We are praying for the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11. It says, may the Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times more numerous than you are. Can I hear amen? He said, and he will bless you and as he has promised you in the name of Jesus. What are we praying for? We are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will multiply the membership of enthronement assembly a thousand times more than we are presently in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord, for your word declared concerning the enthronement assembly in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11. Lord, we ask and we pray that you make us a thousand times more than we are in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, make the enthronement assembly, make the enthronement nation, uh, make every of our branch of Jesus uh, a thousand times more in the name of Jesus. Uh, over this conference in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, let it be a breaking out. Uh, let it be a breaking out of souls. Uh, Lord, we enjoy the ministry of the one thousand, ten thousand more than we are in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, let your quail, oh God, bring forth men. Uh, let them come forth uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Satan, we ask that you take your hands off uh, everything, oh God, uh, that is not of God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we come against every voices uh, that we hinder the inflow of nations to us uh, because as a result of this conference uh, and as a ministry, we are a thousand times more than we presently are in the name of Jesus. Uh, and this is our reality. And uh, we walk in the newness of it uh, all the days of our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and our God, we give all of the praise. We thank you, Lord, because we begin, we enjoy 
the multiplication of a thousand times more as a ministry and a people in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and our God to give all of the praise. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. We are praying from the book of Genesis 24, verse 59 to 60. It says, So they sent away Rebekah, their sister, and Anos, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said to her, Our sister, may you become the mother of thousands of ten thousands, and may your descendant possess the gates of those who ate them. What are we praying for? We are saying, Father, we pray that the blessing of Rebekah becomes the portion of the enthronement assembly now and forever in the name of Jesus. Prayers in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray this morning, oh God. God, that the blessing of Rebecca to become thousands of ten thousands uh, be the portion of the enthronement assembly today and forever in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord God, uh, may our children possess the gates of the enemy. May this ministry begin to possess uh, the gates of those with us uh, because you are making us thousands of ten thousands uh. Lord we are causing the blessing of Rebecca to become thousands of ten thousands uh, to rest upon the enthronement assembly it is resting perpetually this is our reality and we walk in the newness of it uh. we walk in the reality of it uh. you see and the world dwell among them uh, and it became flesh uh. Lord we thank you because uh, you are causing the manifestation of this world uh, to be a portion, uh, to be the reality of this age now uh, and forever in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, we thank you and our God we give all of the praise. Uh, we thank you, Lord, because uh, over the territorial dominion conference, uh, you've gone ahead of us. Uh, the Spirit of God has gone ahead uh, to bring men and um, Men, women from every language and every tribe uh, into our gathering, uh, and Lord, just strengthening us, oh God, to become thousands of ten thousands uh, because the blessing of Rebecca is resting upon us as a ministry. Father, we give you thanks, and our God, we give all of the praise. Uh, for in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, are you giving God thanks and praise this morning? I want us to go to God for everything you will believe in God for over this conference. Uh, I want to give you some seconds to go before him and raise a petition to him father we thank you lord we give you praise you will own be all the glory lord we thank you because over the enthronement assembly you are bringing men from the ends of the world you are bringing nations from afar you are causing men to grab the sleeve of the members of this ministry and they say come let us go with you to the god you serve father we say thank you and our god we say thank you be all the glory and praise for in jesus mighty name we have prayed do you believe that god is a prayer answering god and he has answered your prayers this morning can you give him praise and glory he is a faithful god please i would like you to raise your most anointed hand as we take the confession for the enthronement assembly please repeat after me say thank you lord for the enthronement assembly our church is forever inhabited as towns on the top of all mountains and we are exalted above every hill on the earth there is a continuous flow of humanity and nations to us all the days of our lives many people are saying come let us go to the god of the enthronement assembly today for out of us goes forth the word of the lord and the law of our god as a church we are forever inhabited as towns without walls because of the multitude of men and the multitude of cars aircraft and automobiles in and around us no single building on the earth will be able to contain all the members of our ministry the lord is forever a wall of fire round about us and the lord is the glory in the midst of us we declare that those that be of our church are empowered to take root they blossom 
and bud and fill the face of the world with fruit. There is no nation under heaven from which men and women will not come to our church. The members of our church are found in every nation under the heaven. The product of our ministry are global in scope and in all nations under heaven. The entrainment assembly is the latter house and the glory of the latter house surpasses the former. God's foundation is in us and the Lord loves our gate more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of us as the city of God. The Lord dwells in us and we are called the city of truth and the mountain of the Lord of hosts. Old men and women do sit in our streets, each one with their staff in their hand for great age because the grace for long life is upon us as a ministry angels of god we ask that you go to the north to the south east and west go around the world bring accurate manifestation of every word that we have declared this morning in jesus name you shall see the travail of your soul and you shall be satisfied amen hallelujah father we just thank you all of the honor is yours, all of the glory is yours, all of the blessing is yours. In Jesus' precious name we pray. And somebody says, Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to pray for everybody on the sound of my voice. If in any way you are guilty of the sin of exaggeration, an exaggerated truth is still alive, let the mercy of God prevail over you. If you have opened the door to affliction by lying against the truth, by exaggerating the truth, let the mercy of God prevail against you. If you have opened the door to causes or an imprecation because you did violence to the word of God, let the mercy of God prevail against you. If you've opened the door to satanic challenges and affliction by doing violence to the word of God, let the mercy of God prevail against you. I pray for the present preachers online and the preachers to be online that in that name of Jesus, God will give you boldness to preach the word of God without fear or favor. In the name of Jesus, holding forth the, the word of God, hallelujah, in, in this generation, shining as light in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I pray that God will raise that generation of preachers in this house, will raise them in the name of Jesus, who will make the canon of scripture the standard of their life, the standard of their message. Hallelujah. Who will not add to it or take away from it in the name of Jesus. All I'm saying today, do not add to his words. She was guilty of that and she failed because of it. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow in prayer. In Jesus' name. I know it as I know my name. If you leave this service with any pain, it's a choice. Anything a disease has not permitted you to do, rise up and do it and come out. It is over. I know it as I know my name. This is the first time, Pastor, in two months that he is standing, he is walking without the walking aid. The pain has disappeared. Jesus! It's a miracle. For the first time, sir, in 21 years, now he can hear properly. Love no longer there, sir. Love no longer there, sir. Make another Rick. amazing instant healing. The pain in that part of her body disappeared. Yes, sir. And since four years, after the surgery, she'll be having pain. Now that the pain is no longer there, sir. He doesn't heal one and leave one. He healed them all. Every skin disease just disappeared. <laughs> sir, miracles are happening like water here. July 
Enthronement Assembly presents the Territorial Dominion Conference with Pastor Korede Kumaya. Receive grace to solve problems. Receive grace to solve important problems. Amen. Anything you touch, we do well. Receive grace to dissolve hard problems. Happening live on the 26th, 27th, and 28th of July, 2024. It will be three days of the divine as we get the impartation to break through and dominate territories. The Territorial Dominion Conference with Pastor Kore De Kumaya. Venue, the Scepter Convention Center, Plot 2, Latif Jakande Road, Wemco Junction, Agidingbi, Ikeja, Lagos. Time, Friday, 26th, 4 p.m., Saturday, 27th, 9 a.m., and the grand finale, Sunday, 28th, 8 a.m. prompt. Do not be told, be there. Your host, Reverend Deji and Dr. Sheung Olabode. Since the dawn of time, life cycles have been unpredictable. Get tested and proven strategies on how to thrive through all cycles of life and become a global financial superpower. Introducing how to become a global financial superpower by best-selling author Deji Olabode. This book reviews tested and proven strategies to break free from financial shackles and achieve a global financial success. Don't just survive. Dominate. Get your copy now and start your journey to financial freedom. Available on demand at Deji Olabode Media Enterprise Dome. Call 703 585 9710 or download on Amazon Kindle. Don't wait. Get your copy now.